Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. In this video we're going to be making an ultra high end figure of eight mains cable. So if you come over to here, this is, um, I've already made the cable up. I only need a short length, so this is half a metre. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to make that in a small size. It just speeds up the video for me. So we're going to, I've already made one conductor already. And I'll be showing you how to do this. So to do this job today, we're going to need a figure of eight mains plug. Now this is a really nice one by Acrolink. Um, we're going to need some uh, 75 mil silver plated braid. We're going to need a, a, a range of conductors. Now the sizes we're going to be using today is 0 0.4, 0 0.6, a 0.71 and the idea is it's a very strand so it's got different size conductors because we know that different size conductors um, improves the performance of any cable so we need some braid so we don't need a very big bit for this because it's only a small amount we need an array of uh, heat shrink okay we need a soldering iron okay um, we also need our heat gun, which is over here. Uh, we need the heat gun. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get into it. But before we do that, I'm going to show you something else that just turned up. So I want to show you two really nice plugs. So this is a Vanguard 28 Alpha. Now this is a um, a copy of the Furatec plugs, uh, which I have many in my system. Okay. The Furatec uses bronze pins. This uses a copper alloy pin. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's fabulous. It really is really good. And these are going to be used for our mains hubs that we're going to be producing. And this is a 16 amp IEC plug there. Look at that. The, look at the quality of that. It's fabulous. They're, they're both silver plated. Uh, I think this one's silver plated. Yes, yeah, so they're both silver plated. So uh, they're really, really good quality. Cost of that one is only 30, I, I, I did a deal on the guy, I bought four of them, so I got them cheaper. I paid about £28 each for those. The Furatech equivalent to that is round about £95 now. Some of them are dearer than that. Uh, and, and also with this plug, the equivalent to this in a Furatech, I mean, this costs around about 20, I can't remember now, it's around about 25 uh, The Furatech version of that. Is, is over hundred pound. I mean, it's, it's it's utterly ridiculous. These are a no-brainer. So I just want to show you those before we get into this video. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is bunch these all together. Okay, we need to push them up so they're all dead in line. You can do it on the side of a bench like that to push them all in place. Then we're just going to twist it slightly there. Okay. And then down this end, we're going to twist it again, and then we're going to pop it into our drill. Okay, so we get our drill here, bring that back. We've got to really make sure it doesn't splay out in the end of the drill. So we're going to pop that on there, pop that back there. There we go, we've tightened that up. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to clamp it in our vice here it's really handy to have a vice if you don't have one get hold of one if you're interested in building cables this really works well so here we go so i say that and then it goes in the just push it in there a bit more tighten it up quite tight like that that's better there we go nope there we go Beautiful. Just whip that out there now. And there's our cable nicely twisted together, which is the same as this one. So, there's a couple of little tricks I'm doing now with this. Before we, uh, before we insulate it, what we're going to be doing is uh, spraying some deoxy over it all along. Okay, then back again, give it a second, and then go back over again. Right, okay, so we're just going to wipe it off for a bit. 
Now I'm going to leave it for about 20 minutes to dry. So uh, the conductor's been left for 20 minutes to dry. Um, we're now using this um, this PTFE tape, high density PV, P, PTFE tape. It's a lot thicker than your standard stuff. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is giving this three layers. Now you can put this in a drill. Uh, get someone to hold the drill at one end, someone to hold or, or just to let the, the the wire just gently go through their fingers at the other end and then, then you can then get your get the PTFE tape and just let the drill go round and twist it round but because this is only a small length here I'm going to do it myself, it's quite quick to do small lengths, in fact I love building small lengths um, one of the best cables to build are the ones that, that connect your your woofer to your to your tweeter on the back of your speaker. Uh, they're really nice and quick to make those. Uh, some really long lengths get really difficult to do. They get too long and right. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna give this three layers of this first. And see, it goes it goes on really nice and easy. It doesn't get tangled up or anything. You just hold it in your hand like that and spin it. I mean, I've been doing this a long time now, so I'm really uh, good at it. But uh... right, so we're just going to come back on ourselves again now, and then um, then that's our three layers of PTFE. Now this is a lot thicker, this PTFE, than the normal PTFE. This is used for uh, central heating, opposed to uh, just normal plumbing. Right, so we'll pull that off of there. That's that. Right, so we've already made this conductor up. So this is black, so now we need to make a red one. So we're going to use some heat shrink here to go over the top of this again. Um, <clears throat> so you're also going to need some scissors. Just to, just to cut the uh, the heat shrink, so we're going to offer it up to the cable there, to the wire I should say, and then we're just going to chop it about there. Okay, so let's see, that's perfect. Right, okay. I always make these longer than they need to be because uh, I want to trim them back. So never try to be accurate. Just just make it but bigger, and then you can trim it back to the to the right size so we're going to just put that up to there so that's a bit longer than it needed so it needs to be so i'm going to have to trim that back a bit because i want it exactly the same size so let's pull that off at the end there and just take a bit more off of there there we go so let's just hold that up against there again now yep that's all right right Okay, so now what we need to do is to shrink it down with our heat gun here. Um, That's that. Now bear in mind this is only a sample. This isn't the actual cable that I'm using. This is a small small sample. So we're gonna offer that up to there now. And what we want to do is we just want to trim the ends down of these uh these to make them exactly the same size and then we can twist them a bit more. So just chop it with a pair of scissors. You can use some uh, wire cutters if you want, but an old pair of scissors is perfectly fine. So all I've got to do now is just do take some of this PTFE tape out a bit because it's gone a bit long there it's uh so now we've got these two uh identical length now so um we we'll just twist that round and make that one nice and twisted so what we're going to be doing next is this is a new thing I've been working on as well I'm constantly improving my designs um so we're going to be using some cotton filler rods either either side of the the cable when we twist it so we'll just make it oversize and that doesn't matter 
Right, okay. So what we need to do now is to get our two conductors there together and our cotton filler rod either side. There we go. And now we're going to wrap some PTFE tape around it there. You've got to make sure you get this in there, about there. Hold it together with your fingers. It's all very fiddly, this stuff, but it does uh, work quite well. Make sure that's round. Pull that back a bit. Okay, and then we're going to chop that off now. There. So we've got that there. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to twist the cable together, the two of them there. Ready? Just like that. And you get a really nice twist. This is very easy to do by hand this bit because you don't want it to go too tight. But you want it just do... There we go. Like a little bit of licorice twisted. Right, so we'll get down to this end now. And now we're just going to put some PTFE tape down this end to hold the twist in place. Okay, and now we're just going to come back on ourselves. Then we're going to do two layers of this of this twist. As we get down to here, we want to release this one here. We can. There we go. Take that off because we don't want it to go right to the end. There we go. Now we're going to come back on ourselves again. And what this uh, cotton filler rod does is it stops electrostatic build-up happening in the cable. So just come back on yourself a bit there. I'm going to just chop that off there. Now what we want to do is we wanna now want to trim these back. So we're just going to chop those off there like so. One. Two. This is pure cotton, this is. These, uh, this is cotton piping cord for upholstery. Right. Okay. So now, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this, which is aluminium foil tape. Okay. Now, this has got a self-adhesive backing. It's very difficult to get, not to get this, which isn't sticky on the back. If you can get one that's not sticky, um, that's good. You could probably use some kitchen foil, really thick and cut into strips, but this is, this works quite well. So we're just going to wrap this now around the cable there. Start in there and just come down on yourself with it. There we go. So this is going to be shielded twice, once with the uh, aluminium foil tape and um, once with the silver plated braid now I shall put everything in the description below everything you need to produce this cable yourself there we go so my son is actually filming this for me today but uh, the first part of it then I'm going to terminate it myself with the tripod so there we go so we put that over there like that that's nice and neat now so the next thing we need to use now is our silver plated braid so this one here is um, 0.7 uh, 7.5 mil so we're just going to push that through there like so okay we're just going to end that there so one end the braid's going to be earthed at one end to the earth in, in the plug okay so we're going to take that down there okay pull that back slightly there 
Okay, and that in there. So now what we're going to be doing now is we can feel where the end of the cable is. The end of the cable's there, but the end of where it's wrapped is just there, where it's wrapped in the uh, aluminium foil tape. So now we're going to use uh, <clears throat> two more layers of uh, of PTFE tape. Now someone did comment before saying, oh, you should use four layers of PTFE tape, but this is really thick, this PTFE tape. It's not like your standard one. So you'll get away with three, three over the conductors, three layers, and then two over the uh, over the, the 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 nylon, the silver plated braid. Now you can put three if you want to. So it's hardly up to you. I find two is just ample enough for what we're doing here at the moment. So look, on a small piece, this is really easy and quick to do. This is why I thought I'd do it like this in the video. It saves me rushing it, and uh, it just speeds up the time of the video. There we go. Right, okay, so we're nearly there now. There's not, not that much more to go. So we'll chop that off of there now. Okay, now we've got to do is just to tease the end of this open now because it needs to, uh, it's quite easy. Just tease it open with your fingers to start with and then you can get a screwdriver and, and do the rest of it. Right, okay, so now we've got our sc screwdriver to tease this out like that. Being a figure of eight uh, mains cable, it doesn't have an earth, so we're just going to be earthing this at the plug end. I haven't shown you the plug yet, uh, which I will do um, for this job. Now this cable is relatively uh, inexpensive to make. Compared to what you would uh, pay for a cable of this quality, you'd be looking at one of them major manufacturers uh, a Cable addressing with this sort of wire that they'll be charging you silly money 800 900 pound For anything to, to this level um, And if you don't believe me just go on and check out they're charging stupid money for just uh, Silver plated copper and this is silver cladded which is uh, far superior 10% and those who have already built my cables already know that already. The quality is second to none. Right. So, what we're going to be doing now is we're just going to twist that off there. This is going to be used as the earth to earth the uh, braid off at one end. And all these bits here are going to be trimmed back just with the scissors there. Trim it back. Go put it all nice and neat there. That's it, that's all trimmed back. So we just need to spin that now. Right, okay, so now what we're going to be doing is just uh, covering that in PTFE as well. So we just want to go around there a bit, then we'll come over to here, pull that back. Now we just want to wind some PTFE tape around here. So, so long. Then we're going to be just putting a piece of uh, earth sheath over the top of this now. So we'll chop that off about there. We're probably going to have to trim this back. When it comes to going into the plug, we'll have to trim this back. Right, okay. So we'll just chop this back a bit there. It's a bit messy there. Right, okay. So here's our piece of heat, uh, piece of um, earth sheathing. So we just chop it there. So we need to just offer it up to there. Cut it about so big. And then we're just going to slide that over the end. There we go. Push that on. Right up there. <clears throat> and this, this PVC seems to shrink as well with the heat gun. So we just get the heat gun, <clears throat> just shrink that down a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give it one more layer of PTFE tape over the, the uh, over this, and then we're going to put the um, the nylon braid on. And then we're going to be uh, ready to start 
terminating the cable it's fairly quick to make this overall I mean in this small length it is uh, it's, it wasn't too bad I, I only need half a meter for my own so um, there we go just turn that back a bit and then chop that off there So now what we need to do is to turn our um, turn our soldering iron on. So we'll move this over here, put that down on there. I'm in a bit of a mess in my studio again. I've got quite a bit of work on at the moment. So we'll just pop that into there and get this heated up, and then we'll be back in a second. Right. So I've cut my uh, my nylon braid to size. Bearing in mind, this is still a sample. I have to keep uh, reiterating this because some people they don't listen properly, and then I land up uh, they land up leaving me messages saying, "Oh, why are you making that so small?" And you know, so um, there we go. So we're just doing that to the ends of it. It just seals the ends up to stop it from fraying. So here we go. Now we're just going to weave this through. that up to there there you go that's perfect so now all we've got to do now is just to use some heat shrink on the end um, I've run out of black at the moment uh, you can do what you want you can just uh, it doesn't really matter too much so we're just going to cut two bits of uh, two bits of heat shrink here I shall put all the sizes of the heat shrink everything you need will be in the uh, description below to make this cable so it's a uh, it's going to be pretty easy. Right. Here we go. We're just going to push that onto there like that. That's going to be slid up. Sometimes you have to work it a little bit. It's gone quite thick now. There we go. Get that on there. There we go. Push that down there. You want to bring that back a little bit because you don't want that to go too far. Right, okay. There we go. So we're going to put that one on that end and then we're going to just shrink that down. Remember, when you're shrinking the heat shrink, when you're shrinking it around the heat heat shrink around the nylon, keep the, keep the gun away from the nylon. Just hold it back because what will happen is you'll burn the nylon. And it's easily done and it just looks rubbish otherwise you want a very professional looking job okay so we've just got to put this end on and then that's the uh, the cable made and we can start terminating it which is the fun part so this is it just got to make sure you don't get that's it there we go always difficult getting that over that initially bring it up to there this is a, just a sample piece here. Right, ready? There we go. So, this is our cable that I made up earlier on that we're going to be terminating. It's only half a metre. This is just a small length of it, just to show you how to make it. Very simple, it's really easy, you should be able to do this, no problem. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the camera up in the uh, in the tripod, my son's going to go off and carry on playing Fortnite or whatever other rubbish he plays, <laughs> and, uh, and I'm going to show you how to terminate this. So. so now, this is our plug now, our silver plated plug. For some reason, I just couldn't get hold of the uh, MK silver plated plug. So I picked up this one from Mains Cables R Us, which I shall put in the description below. They work out to about £12. Uh, I've got shed loads of these plugs, but um, not the silver plated version, the normal version, which I have loads of them from my old audio business. I used to use these ones on, uh, on my Mains Cables, the cheaper ones, but this one is, um, has been uh, really well plated. So um, the reason they use this type of plug is because it's very easy to disassemble and to plate the uh, the terminals and that. 
so let's pop that out of there that's your, your cable strainer just to keep your cable in place and then we're going to pop out the um the fuse and as usual we've got our nice gold plated fuse in there uh, and i know a lot of people think it's snake oil but why would you go to the effort of using a silver plug pure silver or 10% or silver cladded copper wire and leave the fuse as just a stock fuse it's pointless so this has a um a silver plated copper alloy burn wire and then uh copper end plates uh end caps gold plated right okay so here we have our plug there <clears throat> We're just going to pop out this uh, Bushman fuse, which is in there. I think it's a Bushman fuse, which are very good fuses as uh, the basic stock fuse. Um, here we go. It's a silver plated Bushman fuse, which is OK, but it's not as good as the, the fuse that we've got to go in there. So now we just need to open these terminals up here. Um, so I am filming this again myself on the tripod now. So uh, we're going to pop those up like that. And this one. The plating on this is really nice. They, they do a really nice job. These mains cables are for us. They, they are us. They, they've obviously got a, uh, a company that plate them for them. So that goes up to there. We don't want to lose the uh, screws out of there. So just try to pull it up a little bit. I'll do that one there now. Right, so we're going to pop these out in a minute, but what we need to do first is just do... Right, so... What we need to do is just to clamp that into the vise for now. That's what's the beauty of using a vise. It's really easy for just doing this sort of uh, work with. So, we've got our live there, and we've got our neutral here. So we just want to offer this up here to get this into the right place. That can go around there. And that's going to go into there. So this is going to have to have a little bit cut off the end there. Because it's going to be too long otherwise. Okay. And then we've got to work out our earth. Which is going to go around to here as well. So bring that back a bit. So the earth's going to cut off about there. There we go. Now we can just pull that earth off again for a bit because we need to un get the uh, PTFE tape off of the ender here so we can uh, expose the conductor. Um, there we go. Just pull that back a little bit. Just chop that back. There we go. The scissors. Now, I know I keep saying this. I know some people uh, just get on there and say, oh, using scissors, using scissors, load of rubbish. Why well, you're not doing it properly and all this. The scissors work well, just old scissors. You know, these are a pair of old upholstery scissors of mine from ages ago. Um, and, I, and I use them for doing this because they work really well. Right, OK. So now what we've got to do is we want to pop that back over. <clears throat> There we go. So now, now what we're going to be doing now is we're going to solder up the uh, the ends once we get it in the plug. Because what I like to do is to solder all the connections in. Okay. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to pop each one out and then we're going to solder them in place. So we need to take that one out there. And what we're going to be doing is uh, just clamping this into here for the minute or well no what we'll do we'll just pop that in there first and then we're going to just tighten that up tighten the screw up on there there we go and that's really nice and tight there now and now we're just going to solder that in now it's always good to solder everything if you can all the joints in because it just makes sure you've got maximum conductor touching the plug. So 
So give that a clean off. Here we go. There we go, leave that on there to sit for a bit. Right, that's perfect, look at that. Perfect solder job on there. Now, don't touch that now. I'm going to leave that to cool down, then I'll get to do the other bit. So that's cooled down now. So now all we need to do is to pull this one out now, the, uh, the neutral, and we've got to fit that into there. So we're going to pull the neutral out now. <sighs> there we go. And now we're just going to nip that into there and tighten it up. Um, right, okay. Get that there like so. And I hope you can see that there. <sighs> Right, okay, so now what we're going to do is again, we're going to solder that in place again now. So just clamp that in there for a bit, nice and easy. Um, now we're going to go again with the uh, solder. I hope you can see that there, it's trying to do it without... Bit more, bit more. We want quite a lot in there because it's um, there we go. Leave that on there for a bit. There we go, perfect. Look at that. So we're going to leave that to, to cool down now, and then we're going to uh, do the uh, earth in the braid off. Right, so we're going to do the same with the uh, with the braid now. So we just want to pop that into there, into the terminal. Okay. Still hot that pin, even though I've, I've left it a bit, it's still really hot. So be careful with when you're doing this sort of stuff. Tighten that down, and uh, so what we'll do, we'll just put that into there for a minute, clamp that in the fire. That's, that's better, so much easier like that. Tighten that up a bit more. That's it. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's tightened up nicely. So now we just need to now just to solder that in place now as well. <clears throat> Put that up like that. Right, more solder. <clears throat> Get a soldering iron. Lovely jubbly, look at that. Very nice solder job there. Right, so now we've got to do is leave it to all to cool down, and then we're going to um, treat it all with uh, deoxit along with the fuse. 
Okay, so we've got the fuse here. Let's whip that out the out of here while we while we're doing it, and uh, we'll get the other part of the uh, the live out the um, the fuse holder there. I'll put it down on here. Now we're just going to treat that with the oxide as well. <coughs> I know you might think this is mad, but high-end audio is mad, really. Uh, we take things to the limit. We try different stuff to try to improve the sound quality of our systems. And I will say something that um, that I, I heard Paul McGovern say from PS Audio, which is dead true. You know, you're better off investing the money in the equipment, really, and then once you've got the equipment you really want, then then invest money in, in a lot of tweaks and that. <clears throat> the only thing is that I'd say about that is uh, everybody's got a different budget to spend. So if you can't afford the really expensive equipment you'd like, right? so you buy something mid-range, so an amplifier of 1,000, but you'd like to have one of uh, 5,000, and you just physically can't afford it the way to improve that is by tweaking and the whole reason i set this uh this channel up is to save everybody money believe it or not that's dead true i'm not in this to make money out of this i run my audio business my accessories business and there's a hell of a lot of money made in 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 cabling and to build it yourself is peanuts you've heard me say it over and over again so i won't carry on but anyway so we treated that now so we'll pop that back into there Okay, now they should have cooled down now. Yep, they're all cooled down nicely. So we're just going to treat these now with the deoxit as well. While, while it's there. There we go. Treat the whole thing. That one still looks like it's slightly hot because you've got some... Um, there we go. This deoxit works really well. I'm using this all the time now. I used to use this on the audio business. I used a uh, a red one, which was DN5, and this is only D5, so I should get over to some DN5 as well. Right, okay. So what we want to do now is we want to get our, um, pop that, the earth back in first. Okay, bring it round. It's very fiddly, this. It, it always is fiddly, and, and, and it's uh, it takes time to do it. To fit it all back together afterwards okay so that's got to go into there like so it's never easy getting these things in you can push it down with the uh there we go get that started off into there actually i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to take out that that earth wire first and put the uh the neutral in place first Okay, right, that's it, that's in place, lovely jubbly, push that down, get that right into place there, that's it, there we go, and now we're going to be pulling that back slightly there, because we need to get that into there, now we're going to be putting in our, um, our earth into there, that pops in there nicely. Okay. So now we're just putting our live into place now. Push that down into there. Get that into place. It's always a bit of a bugger this. That's it. Right, so that's going to be in place there. Just push that down onto there as well. Just got to push that down. Ah, that's better. There we go. Seating it in place is a, is, a, is a very difficult bit. Right, before we put that fuse in, what we're going to do is just stick our cable strainer back on there. So we need to turn that over. Get one of our screws in there. Right, okay. Let's use our Phillips screwdriver for this one. Get that into place, that's going in there nicely. And then the other side there. I mean, when you're making really thick cables, they are really difficult to get in plugs. You've got to just uh, 
sometimes you have to modify them slightly at the plug like the entry to the plug there we go once you start to clamp this down I quite like these plugs even though they're cheap I, I used to use these on the audio business uh, the accessories business but then I, I, I changed over to uh, screw fix plugs they're quite like them as well they're, they're, they're quite reasonable there we go We're just clamping that down in there there you go that's gone down there lovely now so now we've got to do now is to pop our fuse in okay our gold fuse in there I want to pop that around there just push that earth wire around just seat it down nicely onto there and then put our plug top on so this is the bit where it becomes quite tight there we go look that's gone in lovely right now we just need to pop that up there and then tighten it down now so that's our plug end totally fitted on nice and neat there we go look you can see it. it's, it's great so we're going to turn our attention now to this end now which is our um a figure of eight end so this is our figure of eight plug there very nice figure of eight plug these are really really well done so first of all what we need to do is to push it onto our housing there the back housing so we're just going to pop that in there this is the problem is is this has become quite thick now this cable so it will go on there we just need to just push it in nice and neatly we don't need to go up too far with it there we go. I hope you can see that. I'm trying to be as accurate as I can here. Um, so we've just got to now pop this into our vice there, and and we won't be soldering this in this end because we can't. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to just solder up the uh, ends of the conductors first because uh, <clears throat> we want to make sure that all the conductors are touching. There's no point in in one part of the conductor and they're arcing out. Bearing in mind these are um very strand cables now as i said to you before i didn't develop very strand it was developed by by uh different companies that are using it now it's a proven fact that it works really well and um a lot of russ andrews cables are, are made with very strand and it has very good reviews um i like russ andrews cables don't get me wrong but they're really expensive for I mean who would who would spend a thousand pound on a cable when you could build it yourself for peanuts I mean I'm not joking I wouldn't waste my money on on, on that that type of cabling it's way too expensive I mean if you've got money to burn that's fine so let's just put a bit of uh, deoxy on the end of there after just to keep it and we're just going to put a bit of deoxy inside the plug there as well just to uh what it does is it enhances the contact, uh, cleans the contact, and it leaves a residue over it to protect it from corrosion. Right, so we've got our live on the left there and our neutral on the right. So we're going to do the same. So we're just going to pop, pop it in there. You can't see this now so easy because it's... Uh, and what I'm going to do now is to put our live in there. So the live is, uh, yeah, that's all right, yeah, yeah, right. So, uh, and, and another thing we're going to be doing as well is we're going to be popping in one of our um, suppressors now into the plug as well. So we want to pop that into there as well. At the same time. And now we're going to be um, tightening these up. So that goes down there like so, and this this has got a, uh, a Phillips screw in the side of it, not a posi drive, but a Phillips. There we go. Give it a really well tighten up. Oh, right, that's that. That's that side done. Now I'm going to come round to this side here. And we want to now pop that over there. That's it. Take that down. Now we're going to tighten this side up. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> right, that's really nice and tight, but that um, this uh, suppressor is uh, not totally even, so I need to pull that out again quick, just to push that in a bit more down there. There we go. That's it. I'm, I don't like it to be uh, uneven. There we go. <sighs> really clamp that in tight that's it that just double check the other sides uh, tightened up enough right okay there we go so now we've just got to pop this this housing on the back down okay now so there's a little uh, there's a little notch on the housing and it fits into here it slides into that piece there so we're just going to turn that round slightly, push that into place. Oh. These are always tight, these things to do. So let's move that round there. Now let's make sure we're getting that in the right place. It's not in the right place, so we need to pull it back a bit and just see where we're at with it. Uh, right, okay, so that's there. Oh, that's not far out actually. It's got to be about right there. It's nearly there. There we go. Get that. Right, so we've got that into place now. So now all we need to do now is just to put our two long screws that come with it in. Okay, one there. I'm on there and just tighten those down but first of all we want to just make sure that this is this cable uh, is uh, that I like to make sure the plug is in the right place before we start to so there we go that's about right you can't really see it. it's to do with this end anyway it's awkward when I'm trying to film these myself so we're just going to um, screw these down These are really nice copies, all these plugs that come from China. You do get, some of them are better than others. So this Acrolink is very good. And the other one, the Vanguard, is, is really, really good as well. I think the Vanguard is the best one. But uh, this is, this is uh, really, really good. Right, so that's that tightened down. So we've just got to tighten up these screws here now. So we're just screwing up these um, <clears throat> strainer part of this uh, plug. There we go. I always find that these uh, these plugs, even with the Furtec, don't over... Um, or the watt gate, don't over tighten them, these back pieces here, because they tend to break very easy inside. They're only plastic, mind you. It's tightening up slowly. Sometimes these have got those screws on it where you can use either a flat screwdriver or a Phillips, and I prefer the flat one a lot of the time. There we go, that's just about right. That feels about nice there. Yeah, I don't really want to, as I say, over tighten it too much. There we go. That's perfect. There we go. So here we have it. Our half a metre of ultra high end figure of eight power cord. As you can see, immaculately made. Immaculately finished. Uh, really nice Acrolink. These are all cryo treated as well. Um really nice silver plated plug on that end and it, it's nice and flexible it's easy so what we're going to do is we're going to fit it on down here now so uh, if you watch that light there that's going to go off because I'm going to disconnect it from down here okay 
take that one out. Leave that on there for the minute. And uh, I'm just going to connect this one in down the back there. Which is going to be rather interesting. So there we go with our Graham Slee Reflex M all lit up. And there's our cord there. Straight down there going into the PSU. <clears throat> so again, I hope you like this uh, video. This is the upgrade one that we had on there, which is also a very nice cable made by me. Um, so if you... Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a, a thumbs up because uh, you can see the amount of effort I put into all these videos. And uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. So you'll know when I upload a video. So all I've got to say now is uh, thanks a lot. Um, cheers.